Welcome to Wealth and Wellness with Grace Nabasabla. Hi, welcome. Today I'll be sharing why I started Short Term Rentals. So why Short Term Rentals? After doing some research about it, I realized I needed a lot of time. I was working as a full-time nurse as a nurse. So I didn't have a lot of time to run it short term rental. However, in 2022, while I was a nursing contract, one of my patients and her family actually shared so much information about short term rentals. So after showing me those receipts, literally seeing how much money they were making, can you imagine? They literally had about three properties and they were making way more money like, than I'm making as a long-term rental landlord. So after a little while, I realized, Grace, you have to try something. You have to at least try it out, right? And the other thing where I wanted to try it out was, as a nurse, a nursing contract, I lived in hotel rooms, I lived in short-term rentals, right? Airbnbs. Also, that impacted me somewhat. I say it impacted me because the way some of those properties were not maintained and managed was very discouraging. The last place I say that I can say it was it wasn't clean enough. Not just the cleanliness, the interruptions from construction, from the housekeeping on a daily basis. Really, if I'm tired, I work overnight, 12 hours. And as soon as I lay down, guess who would be knocking on my door? Housekeeping. So the constant interruption. The moving me around to room after room because they, they wanted to move rooms because of the construction taking place. That was very interrupting. Therefore, I thought about it. I was like, wait, you can try it out whereby I can be a solution as a nurse. So my short-term rental is actually a way to help other nurses when they start their journey as a nurse and know what other nurses are like. I'll channel the pain that I experience as a nurse and make it better for other nurses, right? So it's a benefit because every experience you have to learn from it. I'm trying to make sure as a nurse that it's benefit for me. And so this journey, it wasn't easy. So earlier this year, I figured out that I'm actually getting to short-term rentals. As soon as one of my long-term rentals became available, I had already started buying some of the supplies that I'll need. As soon as this property became available, I literally started furnishing it. So for those of you all who are not familiar with short-term rentals, literally short-term rentals is a stay of 30 days or less. I'm mainly doing the mid-term rental, which is about seven days or more, but I don't like the big turnover. So I'm hoping I continue with the mid-term rentals, especially the travel nurses. Short-term rentals are great because then you get high rent, right? High return. And the other thing about short-term rentals also is that if somebody's not paying, they don't have to stay in your apartment, right? They can leave after that short amount of time. However, the cons, you have to realize that it's a high-risk business. Because if you don't have this commitment, the long-term commitment, guess what? That's not income or that's not promise income. So that's one of the risks of short-term rentals. The other risk also is the management. It takes a lot of management because you have to make sure you're marketing that property, you're furnishing it. You have to make sure that you have so many people who are actually waiting to get into your apartment in order to keep up with the turnover. Because as soon as somebody leaves, guess what? You have to make sure stand up and ready for the next client. Another thing about short-term rental is the insurance. You have to make sure that your insurance actually accept a short-term rental. Because some insurances out there might not accept and insure a short-term tenant. 
So make sure you ensure before you start taking short-term rentals. Another thing is the HOA. Some HOAs have restrictions. So make sure you read all your rules and regulations with the HOA before you turn your property into a short-term rental property. I consider functionality and durability. For the items that are actually used to furnish the short-term rental, I recommend anything durable and functional. Durable such as leather, something easy to clean, right? And also functional, say white, making sure your linens are white, easy to clean with bleach, right? Because then you want to make sure as soon as the other tenant leaves, you can clean it up and make sure it's still clean enough for the next client. So that's very important when you get into short-term rental, making sure it's going to be durable and functional. Also, they recommend that the less furnishings, the better, because the more furnishing, that means more management, as well as more possibility of those items being damaged. So make sure you have as less as possible, right? So to make sure that it's pretty much a clean slate for the most part, but when you look at these videos, uh, that's going to take you through a uh, before walkthrough, during walkthrough, and then the after walkthrough to show you the basics of everything I did to finish the short term rental way. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share in the comments below what you think. Until next time, stay tuned.